In this video I'll show you how to make your desktop look super cool and professional. You'll have quick access to your daily apps and a cool widget showing your CPU and RAM usage, and a cool music player with a visualizer. Right-click on your desktop and select Personalize. Go to the taskbar section and turn off or hide anything that makes it look cluttered or messy. Now our taskbar looks clean and minimal. Now open the Microsoft Store, download and install Lively Wallpaper. Now, go to the link in the description and download this live wallpaper. Now open the app, click the plus icon, and select your downloaded background. Now click OK and wait a few seconds for it to add to your desktop. Now we need two apps, Translucent TB and Rounded TB. First, open the Microsoft Store and download and install Translucent TB. Now go to the website link I've added in the description, scroll down a bit, and download and unzip the first file. In the folder you just unzipped, open the Rounded TB app. Now click on Advanced, and in the Margin section, click Advanced again. Now make sure to set the numbers and options here exactly like mine. We're going to hide the right side of the taskbar, the clock, date, and system tray, so it stays hidden until you hover over it. Now we need to make the taskbar completely clean and match it with the background. Now open Translucent TB, right-click its icon in the taskbar, enable Open at Boot, and under the Desktop section, select Clear. Now you need to download the files. Open the link I've added in the description and download the file. After you download it, extract the file. The password's in the description. We'll need these files, but first, go to the link in the description and download and install Rainmeter. When you install Rainmeter, it comes with some default widgets you don't really need. Just right-click them and select Unload to remove them. Now open the file you downloaded and install the first item in the list. Now right-click Rainmeter from the taskbar icons and click Manage. In the CyberCircle section, select the CPU and RAM options. Now let's install the second file. At first, you'll see a bunch of widgets appear, but just pick the apps you use most during the day. For the ones you don't need, right-click and hit Unload. Then, in the Files section, select Color Dot, and now you'll have quick access to all your favorite apps. Add any widgets you want. Also, I've already installed the third file we downloaded earlier, so we don't waste time. I'll just select it here. Looks like the CPU and RAM widgets got turned off. No worries, I'll just turn them back on real quick. Hey bro, the best way you can really support me is just by watching the video till the end. Don't skip it, and make sure to hit that like button. That means a lot to me really. Now right click on the CPU or RAM widget and click settings. In the color section, select CPU and RAM, then hold the left mouse button to pick any color you want. I'm moving my mouse over the clock to grab the same color from it. Do the same for the RAM widget too, so all the colors look clean and consistent. Now stack the icons vertically, one under the other, just like I did. Alright, let's fix the color. Right click on one of the icons and click settings. Now it shows a bunch of colors that don't look great. Click on normal color, then click the white area. Just like before, use the eyedropper tool and hover over the color you want to apply. Right now, your desktop looks a bit cluttered, so let's hide your icons. With this method, they'll be gone in a second, and your desktop will look much cleaner. Now go to the link in the description, download the first file, and install it. Open the app, go to the library section, select modular player, and then choose this player under the general tab. Now activate it, and adjust its position on your desktop. Now click on Customize Player at the bottom, and set the size exactly like mine. Now go back to the Home tab, and in the Library section, select Modular Visualizer. Head into the General tab. There's a set of settings you need to copy exactly like I do. They're important, so follow them carefully.
Now turn it on. You won't see anything on your desktop yet. You need to play a song or a video for the visualizer to show up. All right, now it's showing up. Place it right below the music player. And that's it. Our desktop customization is done. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss what's coming next.